Before understanding the 2D echo, let us first discuss the heart's anatomy. A typical heart has four chambers which are easily seen by 2D echo, two on the right side and two on the left side. The right upper chamber is called the right atrium, whereas the right lower chamber is called the right ventricle. Similarly, the left upper chamber is called the left atrium, and the left lower chamber is called the left ventricle. Numerous main blood vessels are located around the heart, which is also evaluated during a 2D echo. The major blood vessels connected to your heart are the aorta, the pulmonary artery, the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, the pulmonary veins. The heart has four valves. They open and close to let blood flow from one area of your heart to another. The four valves of the heart are aortic valve, mitral valve, pulmonary valve, tricuspid valve. An echocardiogram is an ultrasound test that checks the structure and function of your heart. An echocardiogram is done with an ultrasound machine with a dedicated cardiac probe. This is how an ultrasound machine looks like. This is the probe used for the 2D echo test. Either a technician or a cardiologist performs a 2D echo test for you. During an echo test, your doctor places a handheld wand called a transducer on your chest to take pictures of your heart's valves and chambers. The transducer sends sound waves to your heart. These sound waves bounce off the different parts of your heart. These echoes then appear as pictures on the ultrasound screen. These pictures can also be saved to review later. Now we will discuss how a 2D echo test is done. For the 2D echo test, you lie down on an exam table. Your doctor will ask you to lie supine on the table and may request you to lie on the left side. You may also need to move into different other positions. Your doctor will apply a small amount of gel on the end of the wand or transducer, which won't harm your skin. This gel helps produce clearer pictures. Then, your sonographer will place a sound wave transducer, wand, on several areas of your chest and take pictures or videos of the heart from a different angle. The examination concludes when the doctor determines that he has gathered sufficient data. 2D echo imaging renders a two-dimensional image in which the heart and its structures are depicted as points of variable brightness. Color floor imaging with Doppler displays blood flow across the valves using a color map, depending on the speed, direction, and extent of turbulence. Now we are moving to the final part of today's video, the application of the 2D echo test. The application of 2D echocardiogram with Doppler in clinical practice is broad, and a few of them includes the first and foremost one is the assessment of heart function. Some disorders, such as coronary artery disease, weaken the heart. When the heart is weak, it cannot pump sufficient blood to meet the body's needs. Then, you may encounter symptoms such as shortness of breath. A 2D echo can assist in identifying a weak heart. The second important application is the assessment of heart size. Heart damage and certain types of heart disease can cause an enlarged heart. Sometimes short-term stress on the body, such as pregnancy, can cause the heart to get larger. Depending on the condition, an enlarged heart may be temporary or permanent. The 2D echo test evaluates heart size and can detect an enlarged heart. The third application is the study of the dimensions of the heart's four chambers. Next comes the assessment of the sizes of various vessels in the vicinity of the heart like the aorta, pulmonary artery, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and pulmonary veins. Another important application is the evaluation of the function of four valves of the heart. Stenosis is the term for a narrowed valve that doesn't open properly. The flaps of a valve may thicken, stiffen or fuse together. As a result, the valve cannot be fully open. The heart then has to work harder to pump blood through the valve, and the body may suffer from a reduced supply of oxygen. Stenosis can affect one or more valves of the heart. 2D echo test can measure the degree of stenosis and the consequences of the stenosis. Regurgitation is the name for leaking heart valves. Regurgitation occurs when blood leaks through the leaflets that don't close correctly. A leaking valve allows blood to flow in two directions. 2D echo test is the best test to identify the regurgitation and quantify its severity. Assessment of pericardium for its thickness and presence of any fluid, blood, infection, or mass is also an application of the 2D echo test. Pericardial effusion is excess fluid between the heart and the sac surrounding the heart. 
The 2D echo test readily identifies pericardial effusion. A review of the heart's walls for their thickness and contractility is another utility of the 2D echo test. The walls of the heart may thicken in conditions like high blood pressure. This puts the heart at a higher risk of heart disease. 2D echo is the definitive test to screen for such situations. Diagnosis of congenital heart diseases like the hole in the heart is another area where 2D echo plays a crucial role. There are several other applications of the 2D echo test like diagnosing heart stiffness, infections of the heart, pulmonary artery hypertension, and pulmonary embolus. Unfortunately, 2D echo cannot see most portions of the coronary artery and its blockages. Coronary arteries are small and cannot be adequately assessed by a 2D echo test. So a normal 2D echo test does not rule out coronary artery disease.